Uh, hello friends, today in this tutorial I will be showing you that how basically you can build this uh, text to PDF kind of an application inside Android Java using iText PDF library. So basically this is the app here and here you can write any text of your choice here. Let me write here hello world. This is sample PDF. So you can just write anything. So basically it's a edit text widget so you can also write multiple lines of text out there anything anything text out you can just write here and then there is basically a button out there which allows you to export this file to pdf if i hit this button here you will see a notification would be there pdf file exported successfully now we can open that using our pdf file viewer it will automatically open you will see this is basically the file here and it is successfully exported to pdf you will see that this Hello world, this is sample PDF document. All the text is successfully exported to the PDF document. You can now click the share button to share your PDF document. And basically guys, it is stored inside our downloads directory. So I can go into my file manager and basically it is stored inside the documents. So if you go to here, I think yeah this is basically the file guys you will see that it is stored inside you will see that this is the actual file here you will see which is exported and uh, once again uh, we will be building this application so let's start building this application guys uh, I have provided all the source code in the description of the video so if you want to get all the source code you can go to the description of this video to get all the source code and follow step by step instruction so now first of all i will make a new project and here i can simply select empty activity just say android text to pdf select your java, uh, language guys i will select java here click finish your project will start here you will now see it will the gradle process will start and now guys here you need to first of all need to add this dependency inside your gradle build.gradle file so here you need to add your dependency so this is basically the dependency that we are using itext pdf uh, this is basically the library which is needed so click on the sync now button and uh, your library will be built and now you need to go to your manifest file guys android manifest.xml so here you need to add your permission so here we will be basically be saving the pdf file inside of our external storage so we will require this permission which is right external storage permission so you just need to add this permission right here inside this file so that's all that you need to do guys and after this what we need to do you need to go to your uh, layout directory so this will activity underscore main dot xml file and here we will write our layout of our file so this basically i have given this uh, code xml code in the description of the video let me just paste this code here so basically it has two widgets this is the edit text where you will enter your raw text and then basically we have a button which will actually export that text to a pdf document so we have two things out there two widgets are there so if you go to the design tab you will see this is basically the design here and now basically if i now run this application guys it will run this gradle process and uh, once it finishes it will run this application so just wait the application is building here so just wait so let me close out all the applications so gradle process is finished so let me select the device realme device here so it is started on the emulator you will see that but i need to run it on a real device so this is basically the app here guys you will see this is added text widget and here you can write anything and now if i click this button nothing happens i need to bind the functionality here once i click this button i need to export that to pdf document so how we can do that we need to write our main activity java code so here we need to get the references of all the button that we have so we will declare a private variable which is added text automatically imported and here we will say added text and also we will have the button this will be for the export button 
and here guys you will get the references of both these elements you will say edit text find view by id r dot id dot whatever id that you have given which is edit text and similarly for the button as well find view by id r dot id dot export button and now we just need to basically bind a on click listener to this button guys so once we press this button what should happen so you'll say set on click listener new view and so once we click this button it will automatically generate for you and now we will get the text which the user has written so you will say using the string class and you will simply say edit text dot get text this is a method and we will convert this into a string and we will also trim it like this and now we will simply check guys if the text entered is empty or not so with the help of this method is empty and it returns true or false if the text is empty so if the text is empty then we will show a message to the user that your text is empty please write something on the uh, edit text so here you will say please enter some text and then basically we will show this toast matches for short period of time and show that's all and then we will simply return and now if the text is not empty then we will basically execute the code inside try catch block so basically we will have a exception which we can catch which is exception e and here we will say e dot print track and that's all and inside this try block guys we will write actually the code which is required to export the pdf document so here we will declare a new document of file we will rename this to pdf file new file and we will basically store this file inside our store external directory which is we will use make use of environment class and it contains a method which is get external storage public directory and we will store it inside our uh, documents directory this time you can see all the directories are available to you uh, downloads documents picture all these directories movies music i will uh, download this inside documents and then basically guys you just need to give the file name we can even generate random file name like this uh, by system dot current millisecond this basically returns the current time and then we can concatenate pdf so this will every time generate a random file name so now we can basically concatenate the file name here that's all so after your file is created guys now we can embed some content into it so we will use the file output stream class and here you will simply say output stream and here you will say new file output stream and we will pass the file here like this and then basically we will write the document guys with the help of this document class which is provided under com.itextpdf this is the document class you need to use and then document we will initialize new document here and here you need to add a simple paragraph guys you will say pdf writer pdf writer this is basically the class which is offered using itextpdf and here it contains a method get in instance and we will pass the document and the output stream and then guys uh, basically after this uh, pdf file let me say pdf yeah so now we need to basically open the PDF document viewer so we will use the intent class here new intent and here we will pass basically the intent dot action view so here we will open the basically the PDF document inside our uh, document viewer so we will say set data in type and we will pass the PDF URI I think we need to create this PDF URI first of all. So after this line, we need to create URI class. We will call this as PDF URI, and then we will say PDF provi file provider. It contains the method get URI from file, and we will say main activity dot this build config application ID, and inside this we will concatenate the provider, 
and then we will pass the PDF file that's all so after you do this guys we just need to pass this PDF URI right here and then we will need to pass basically the extension of PDF documents which is application PDF and after this you do that guys we just need to basically set the flag set flag and here we need to simply say intent dot flag read uri permission and also we will need intent dot flag no activity history and then we will start the activity guys start activity and we will pass the intent here and after you open this we just need to open the document here like this and here we will add a document uh, sorry paragraph of text so here we can pass the new paragraph class inside itext pdf and here we will pass the text which is there that's all so whatever text that you written right here we are getting it text right here we are embedding it inside the pdf document using this paragraph class and then we can simply close out the pdf document by using close method and after this we will simply say toast dot make text and here you will simply show a alert message to the user that pdf file exported successfully and then we will simply show that message for longer here length will be slightly long so that's all that you need to do guys inside this application and now if you basically run this application one error is taking place let me see that error so sorry this needs to be pdf file so now if you try to run this application guys what will happen so we need to terminate that so you will see that if i now basically just open the log here i need to show something here so basically now if you type anything here let's suppose i type any value here and if i click this button export to pdf so you will see nothing happens uh, a error has taken place in the log section if you say this error will take place guys if you add, don't add the meta provider inside your android manifest.xml could not find meta provider for com example so this error will be very normal so to now to fix this issue you need to add just go to your android manifest.xml file and right here you just need to add the meta provider that i have given in the description of the blog post so if you go to the description i have just step by step told you how to basically add this provider as well just copy paste this line of code here and simply paste it here this is actually telling android where to save the file so inside your xml directory you need to create another file which is file path you just create xml resource file which is file underscore paths and here you also need to create this file just copy paste this code so that's all so now if you run this application your error will go away and now you will be able to run your application uh, it is saying that uh, oh sorry package name needs to be updated so whatever is your package name guys you need to say android text to pdf so just replace your package name here so so now the application will launch here and now if you write something here and click on export to pdf you will see pdf file exported successfully now we can open that pdf file with the help of pdf viewer so this is basically you will see pdf file has been successfully created now you can share this pdf file with your friends so every time a random file name is generated you will see export again and now if you check the directory inside our documents directory it is stored right here you will see this is the documents directory every time you will see that if i delete this and let's suppose if i generate once again you will see pdf file exported and you can see this is the actual file which is generated here if i open this this is the actual file
So in this way guys you can export raw text to PDF document using iText PDF library inside Android Java. This is a complete application that I shown you how to save the PDF document inside external storage. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial all the source code is given in the description of the video and I will be seeing you in the next video.